Welcome to this special 2014 BSCAI Convention ISSA Trade Show Tripodcast. Our special guest today is DJ Rizek, President of KB Building Services, Omaha, Nebraska. Now, DJ is going to be doing a session at the convention uh, entitled Culture is King. He's going to be doing that on Friday, November the 7th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, welcome, DJ. Thanks, Dick. Uh, your, um, uh, your subject sounds really, really fascinating. So, you want to take a few moments and um, kind of tell us a little bit about uh, uh, DJ and KB Building Services, and then give us some bullet points on the session you're going to be doing. You bet. Um, I started in the housekeeping industry. Uh, this was my family's janitorial company. So I was part of the forced labor crew as I grew up. Uh, I quickly found out uh, having something to do on Friday night usually meant having a vacuum in my hand. But uh, So second generation. Um, but I'm a serial entrepreneur. Um, yeah, my, I've yeah, owned... my, chil- my children were part of the original snow clearing crew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I know uh, what are you doing, Matt? Uh, this is what you're doing when I was growing up. But that's great. That, I think that's great. I think that that helped instill a pride in me uh, now that I that I am the uh, owner of the company. And more importantly, uh, to speak what we're going to talk about in Orlando is I'm the keeper of our culture. Yep, yep. And um, there's a lot of reasons why companies today um, have culture as an important part of their strategic plan. Um, The two most important reasons for me here in Omaha at KB Building Services um, were, number one, the hockey stick growth that we obtained after getting our culture um, correct, and secondly was the time that I actually spent working in the business. Um, It went down considerably once we got the culture correct. Um, Start working more on the business, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we we were a kind of a sleepy family business that that garnered less than industry standard net income. It was the three to four percent. Um, the business was kind of used as a checkbook. Um, there there was there was no real strategic plan in place. And and once we set our foot in the ground and made our culture and and got intentional about getting our culture right. We started seeing growth all over the place. We saw two times our revenue growth in in less than eighteen months. Wow! And wow! It, in that time span, more importantly, probably we saw three times net income growth. So from from a company that generally generated three to four uh, percent net income to start seeing ten and twelve and fifteen percent net income. Uh, it, it jumped off the board to us, right? What was the reason? Why were we seeing this? And we recognized it was because we got intentional about our culture and we started getting down to making decisions based around uh, that culture. So that, number one, uh, of course, is the reason why it's important to me. Uh, the second time that we touched on is spending more time on the business. My uh, work life uh, looked like uh, a zoo, really. I mean, my first customer call would be at seven o'clock in the morning. My last employee call was usually about two or three o'clock at, in the morning. Um, I was working all the time Mm -hmm. and I didn't see any way out of it. Um, and, and that was really, uh, probably the hardest part was I didn't know what to do. Um, but once we, we stopped and we started looking at our culture and we started um, aligning the strategy with what, with what we were trying to do, I started to realize that my work in the business started going down. Mm-hmm. And the process and the tools that, that I hope to share with, with our group here in Orlando are the things that we do, that we, that we did to change that. And and I say often, Dick, that it didn't just change my business life. It probably saved my life. There you go. Um, I, was, I was about 300 pounds at the time, um, and we had just lost our biggest customer. We had lost 
a, a customer that generated about three hundred thousand dollars a year net income for us. Mm. Uh, my wife um, of twenty five years had just quit her job of uh, one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year as an executive at a real estate company. Um, and more importantly, our second set of twins had just showed up from the hospital. <laughs> and and I say that, I, I have to say it again, because sometimes think, people think I said, oh, my set of twins. I had two sets of twins. My goodness. At, at this time, I had Dominic and Caroline, who were my fraternal two-year-olds. And my wife had just brought home from the hospital my identical twin boy, Anthony and Teddy. So... Something needed to change, and something needed to change quickly. And and uh, we we knew that it was our culture. And so when I come back and I share these processes and the tools that we make decisions with daily now, I get a smile on my face because I remember what it looked like, what my life looked like, and where I thought I was headed. And... So while the net income and the growth is is wonderful, um, the time to me is is just as important because I needed to be spending that time at home, also helping. Well, I, I would suspect that you will have um, a large percentage of your audience uh, will be will be listening to this uh, or will be in your session that are the 7 in the morning till 2 in the morning people. Absolutely. You know, because that the, the, the business will, will just engulf you, you know. Yeah. And uh, I've said that so often. In fact, I, put it, I wrote a book about it. I talked about how I, after six months in business, just threw up my hands and said, I don't think I want to do this anymore. <laughs> you know, and, and so my wife and I took a lengthy two-day vacation, you know, and said, okay, where do we go from here, you know? Right. And so, but anyway, uh, this is going to be an out, this is going to be a great, this is going to be a great session, and I... Uh, Thank you. And, yeah, and it ready. is a, yeah. it's a wonderful time, uh, like you said, it's, we all face that. I mean, I think no matter whatever you're struggling with, whether it's the work-life balance, whether it's the driving the net income, whether it's the driving for growth, whether it's uh, working in your business versus on your business, uh, like you had mentioned, this comes at the most challenging point in your life. And when you can figure this out, when you can move this rock, you can do anything. That's right. That's right. And I'll tell you what, I'm I'm totally honored, and it really is on behalf of my 250 plus employees here in Omaha that I get, to, and and they live it daily. They live our core values. They live our culture daily. And it's my honor um, to be in Orlando on their behalf to share our story about culture because it is, it's such a wild ride. And if eight years ago you told me that I would be speaking to share my story in front of the, my peers, I would have thought that that you were crazy. <laughs> you you be- wonder what I was smoking, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, because I I couldn't see my way out of it. Yeah. And I and and I and everybody who whenever um I share my story, lots of people say, Yeah, but yeah, but I have to do this. Yeah, but mm. you don't realize. And I was one of those yeah butters, you know what I mean? I I said, Yeah, but I have to do this. This is how I watched my mom do it. Yeah, but this is this is how mm. they did it back then or this is this is how we've always done it, and the fear that that brings to to to. I mean, I I almost think that I have the second set of twins because someone said, "Listen, you're really going to have to figure this out." Yeah, yeah, but right, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here, let me give you a yeah, but. Um, <laughs> well, this and is going to so, be a, this is going to be a session, uh, DJ, that. Uh, I think is going to be well attended, and um, you got me excited. I know that, and just listening to it because um, it 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 engulfs. I think everybody in the industry at one time or another. Yeah. And some people solve the issue, and some don't. And I want to encourage our audience 
if they if you heard yourself in if you see yourself in some of the uh, some of the description that uh, DJ was talking about, I would suggest you attend this session again. Let me remind everybody: it's on Friday, November the seventh, three o'clock in the afternoon until four fifteen, and uh, it's going to be a it's going to be an outstanding session. You know what? It's going to be fun and interactive. Um, I'm not going to have a long, dull speech. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not very good at those. But we're going to share some experiences, and 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 uh, we're going to get real. And I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to be a part of it. Well, it's we. I'm anxious to to uh, to uh, see the session, hear the session. Cool. So I want to remember, remind everybody to uh, re- remember that the ISSA trade show is Wednesday through Friday, November five through seven. Uh, and the BSCAI educational sessions are on Thursday through Saturday, November 6th through the 8th at the Hilton Orlando. And remember, DJ's session is on Friday at uh, 3 o'clock, entitled Culture is King. Now, for those of you also that want to attend the bidding and estimating seminar or you're going to be taking your CBSE or your RBSM exam, they take place on Wednesday, November 5th. Now you can register at www.bscai.org, and then you can click on the registration icon there. Uh, and, and as a special to TriPodcast listeners, whether you're a BSCAI member or not, you're going to get the early bird registration rate no matter when you register. You know, So there's always a cutoff, and after that cutoff, it costs another 100 bucks or so. I, I, I don't want to say cost, the investment is another $100, but you're going to be able to, as a listener to this uh, tripodcast, you get to keep the old rate for that as well as the bidding and estimating seminar. All you have to do when you register is over on the promotional code line, put TSD, Tom, say, uh, Sam, David, and it'll automatically kick on the, the uh, kick into the uh, registration rate. So, again, I want to thank our special guest, uh, DJ Rezak from Omaha, and I want to thank all of our listeners today for tuning in. So we'll see you all in Orlando in November.